In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a super easy mini skirt without using a pattern. For this project, you're going to need scissors, pins, thread, measuring tape, an invisible close-ended zipper, some fabric, I went with a lightweight wool fabric, and then a cheaper similar weighted fabric to help me make the pattern. I'm going to start by wrapping the fabric that I'm using as my pattern around my mannequin. If you don't have a mannequin, you can pin this on yourself as well. The goal here is to pin a straight line for your side seam. Then on the other side of the skirt, you're going to pin your second side seam. This fabric is already connected, but it still makes it easier to put the pins in. You're then going to trim away all your extra fabric, which includes where you want the skirt to hit at the waist and for the hem. The basic skirt pattern has two darts in the back, so we're going to do that by just pinching the excess fabric and placing our pins. We're going to measure them later to make sure that our darts are evenly placed. Then on the side of the fabric that's still connected, we're going to cut it to separate it. The higher your skirt, the more fabric you're going to have to put into your darts, but because my skirt's low rise, my darts are relatively small. Now we're going to mark with a pen all the places that we placed our pins, being the two side seams and our darts. If you were doing your pinning on a mannequin, you can now try it on and make sure that it fits, and make any adjustments to the pins that's necessary. With the skirt on, I also decided to alter the length, so I marked that with a pen. And then also remarked with the pen if I made any adjustments to the pins. Now taking it off, this is the front pattern piece, and as you can see, there should be a slight scoop on the waistline and a slight curve on the two side seams. I used a ruler to slightly even out my lines, and then I cut out my pattern piece. It helps at this point to use a measuring tape to make sure that your pattern piece is looking even. I folded mine in half just to make sure I had a mirror image for both sides. And there's your front pattern piece. This piece has no seam allowance, so I made sure to write that down so that I'd remember when I cut it out of my real fabric. We're now going to do the same for the back pattern piece, this time making sure to mark out our darts. It'd be a good idea to use our measuring tape here as well to make sure everything's as symmetrical as possible. We also want to make sure that our side edges from our front and our back pieces are the same length because they're going to be sewn together. I made sure to write out my seam allowance for the back piece as well. I did one centimeter on the two sides and at the top and then three centimeters at the bottom for the hem. This pattern is going to consist of four pieces so now we're going to work on creating our two facing pieces. The facing for the front is going to be the exact same as the front piece, but just 10 centimeters in length. Remember that this piece at the moment does not include seam allowance either. Creating the facing for the back piece is a little harder, but we're just going to start by tracing out the left side of the skirt up until the dart. Once you reach the dart, you're going to mark the point of the dart and pivot your fabric at that point to then close your dart. With that fabric now angled up, you're going to continue tracing up until the second dart. And then you're going to do the same thing, pivoting your fabric at the point of the dart, closing up the dart, and then continue tracing. You're then going to mark out the 10 centimeters in length and cut out your fourth pattern piece. So now we have our front piece, our front facing, our back facing, and our back piece. As you can see, our front facing is slightly bigger than our back facing. We're now ready to cut the four pattern pieces out of our real fabric. Make sure that when you're cutting, you're leaving a one centimeter seam allowance. When you're cutting out your back piece, you're going to want to indicate where your two darts are. I did that using pins, and you're going to want to leave three centimeters for the hem. While cutting out your front piece, you're also going to want to leave three centimeters on the hem and one centimeter on all your other sides. We're now ready to pin our front and back pieces right sides together. I'm going to show most of the sewing with the green fabric because it's easier to see, but you should be using your real fabric from now on. You're then going to pin one side of your facing pieces as well, again with right sides together. To determine what side you're going to place the zipper, you're going to flip your skirt right side out while keeping your facing inside out. You're then going to place the two wrong sides together on the inside of the skirt. Now the other side of the skirt is where the zipper is going to be placed. It helps to know this because it'll be easier if you sew it with a larger stitch because we'll be unstitching it in a later step. We're now ready to sew our three sides. One side of the facing, two sides of the skirt, remembering to use a larger stitch on the side of the zipper. 
We're now going to repin and sew our darts. You can use your measuring tape at this point as well to make sure that your darts are evenly placed and equal size. And then you're going to sew your two darts. We're now ready to attach our facing to our skirt. So with our skirt inside out and our facing right side out, we're going to align the two side seams right sides together. And then we're going to continue pinning all the way along. As you can see, one side of our facing should still be left open and not sewn together. We're now going to sew all along where we placed our pins. When sewing darts, I like to make sure that the extra fabric is facing outwards and towards the side seam. Now with all four pieces attached, we're going to iron up the seam allowance towards the facing. We're doing this because we're going to be sewing a top stitch right along the edge of the facing. We want to make sure that this top stitch is also sewing through the seam allowance. When doing the top stitch on the facing, we want to make sure that the stitch is nice and close to the seam. With that top stitch done, we can now iron down our waist. We're now ready to insert our zipper. When sewing zippers, I like to sew a small stitch at the top that helps refrain the zipper from slipping around. I usually do this with a large stitch because it'll be pulled out later. We're now going to place the right side of our zipper onto the wrong side of our fabric and we're going to pin it into our seam allowance. We're going to do that for both sides of our zipper. As you can see, none of the pins should show through the right side of the skirt. We're now going to switch to our zipper foot and sew where we placed our pins. This is more of a basting stitch, so don't worry if your stitch is not super close to the zipper. You're then going to seam rip open the side seam where you've just placed your zipper. If you're happy with the placement of your zipper, you can also unstitch the seam that you put at the top of your zipper. With our zipper now open and in place, we're going to do a second stitch, this time trying to get as close to the zipper as we can. As you can see, our second stitch has really helped with hiding our invisible zipper. We're now going to attach our facing to our zipper. So we're going to fold it placing right sides together and pinning down on the seam allowance of the zipper. And then when you fold it back out, none of the raw edges should be showing. And we're going to do that for both sides of our zipper and facing. And then still using your zipper foot, we're going to sew where we pinned. With our facing now fully attached, I like to sew a little stitch to lock in the facing on the side without the zipper. This helps keep the facing in place and you can't see it because you're sewing it right in the seam. We're now ready to hem our skirt. So we're going to fold over our hem twice with whatever seam allowance we left ourselves and then iron it down. And then sew along where you pinned. So now we have our hem done, our facing locked into place, and our zipper inserted. You can end your project here or there's two extra optional steps. You can insert a hook and eye to the top of your zipper and you can also finish the raw edges of your skirt. You can either do this with a zigzag stitch, a serger, or some sort of binding. With my actual skirt, I decided to bind all my edges because the wool was really fraying. But this really depends on what type of fabric you have. You can also just use a zigzag stitch to keep everything in place, which I did along my zipper. As you can see, the zigzag stitch keeps everything from fraying. And then finally, on my real skirt, I decided to add a hook and eye, so I did that with a hand sewing needle on the inside of the skirt. When sewing the hook and eye, it helps to put the hook and eye together and then pin on the skirt where you're going to sew them so that they line up. And you're all done! Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please subscribe.